Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rolo and welcome back to Pioneers of Pagonia. So where we left off on the previous episode, we had some difficulty with our soldiers being killed. Um, and quite a lot of them being killed with the, the bandits, especially the veteran bandits. Although it seems like the majority of the bandits left for this camp is quite low. But this one over here still has quite a few and quite a few veteran bandits um, that we need to take care of. We have been building some um, minting stations, so to increase our creation of coins. And we've also built a treasury. And the treasury will be important to increase our soldiers' combat strength. Because based on how much you have in your treasury, that's how the combat strength gets increased. We've kind of settled down on our overall resource production, which I think is at a quite stable place. Besides our cement, um, we really have a shortage of... Um, I don't think we actually have cement. We don't, um, because we have a shortage of limestone, and we have some limestone over here. But I want to be very, very careful while claiming areas here. Hence the wolves that we have here on the northern side of our map. Cool. So, for today we want to actually defeat those um, bandits there and uh, really get get the hang of things and control a bit more of this area. So, I'm going to set my guards to try and claim this small little area over here. But still allow them to not really get close to the wolves because we really, really... Ah, the hostile camp was destroyed. That's fantastic. See, there's one left, and then we can move over to here next to this mountain, it seems like. I, I, do, th I do believe that there's some limestone and iron over there from the last playthrough that we had so much difficulty with. So, I think from a recruitment perspective, we are still all fine and dandy. Um, our production areas are producing what we need. We are producing mainly wooden spears for now, because we do want that... That little bit of a buffer. So I think actually I'm going to send these guys to go over there. And I'm just going to fast forward it. Uh, because we really do need to get that limestone. Otherwise we're going to have a massive, massive problem with, um, with our resources. And I think we can actually link up to this. I don't know what this is going to give us. Um, probably some bonus. Let's see. Um... Locations of the Grand Boar Fortitude and complete the construction. You have to find a way yourself. Well, I get. I guess there's a. Maybe it gives some bonuses to my army because it seems like it's like a statue or something that, that we need to build. Right, limestone was discovered. Okay, cool. So there is limestone on the way here. So that's definitely going to be a great thing to have. So I'm wondering then if I should. Just get here and then stop them. I mean, those resources we'll get later once we really have the the army to deal with with these foes. And um, yeah, I think the majority of my army is most likely going to head towards this bandit camp here. But I don't think there's much left for us to take on there. So just gonna change the patrol point so that it is more centralized. And we are going to change the patrol point for them as well. So it's more centralized as well. And then I need to stop them once we once we've actually gained some some ground there. So let's allow these guys to not patrol point, not patrol point. I want to set the claiming point to be up here. So, like, somewhere there. Oh, someone is making some weird noise. <laughs> so let's allow them to quickly get up there, and then we can build a road. I think we should be able to build a road, like, somewhere around here. Yeah, the bandits are going to be a bit of a problem for a little bit longer. But it's fine. We, we will sort them out. Okay, so they are here already. 
But uh, there's probably a bandit camp somewhere around there as well, up here, along the coastline. Let's prioritize this one. I want to get the new recruits in here first, and then we can allow them to get to the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build our quarry, because we, we do need the quarry for this location. Ah, oh, great, that other one is also destroyed. I'm going to build the quarry, but this quarry is going to focus on the limestone first. Because that is kind of what we need at this point in time. And then, let's see. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get to that just yet. So, let's just fast forward just a little bit longer. And then... Okay, so. For this tower... I'm going to stop your claiming. This one should not interfere there. Yeah, it's way, way far enough, so we don't need to worry about that. But I do, however, want them to try and claim up to this point first. Oh, not that point. We actually do want that limestone there. So let's rather focus on the limestone there. So it's a little bit of coal, but mainly limestone. While we wait for those few peeps to climb up this mountain and claim this little area of statue that we can can focus on and then we can focus on the bandits attacking our all right -o. i think we should have access to it now cool so i'm going to tell them to claim this area here so we can build the road I just need to be very, very careful here to not mess things up. All right, cool. Going to pause the claiming. And, uh, oh, but the entrance is that side. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll get to it. We'll get to it soon enough. There's some iron there as well. So I'm going to build an iron hut. Let's put it here. And there's a lot of copper. All the copper hut as well and then uh, another quarry yeah i don't think another quarry would be bad as long as we just stay out of reach of this area because i think as soon as they try to get there we're gonna have a problem on our hands because the explorer's hut is also gonna focus on the left hand side first before we actually go to the the other locations where we need it to be so I'm going to remove the prioritization on this tower. They're not going to attack the thieves. That's quite unfortunate. On the one hand, I'm really happy. Because, yeah, if, if, if they also get tricked by the, the wolves and get killed by them, then... I would not be, be very happy about that. Cool, so we are building quite strong relations. Um, we are waiting for some border posts, it seems like. Border stones. We do have quite a bit of them, but I think our carriers for the, for the goods is quite low. So I'm just going to increase, I think these are the trade carriers. I'm just going to increase the amount of trade carriers that we are going to get. And then, I think we need to build more homes. So we need to ensure that we have enough people. So that we do not run into the issues that I had the previous time around. That we did not have enough population to actually grow properly. And, uh, okay, so we have a weaponsmith. So let's just see what do I need. So we do want to build Fear Knots, right? Fear Knots is going to be in the Adventurer's Guild. So they, they need Silver Blades and Light Armor. So I think we're going to build like 20 Silver Blades. Let's build Iron Lances and Iron Swords for the Soldiers. And then I think for our Tailor's Workshop, yeah, we are building Light Armor. So that's, that's perfect. And then we can start building some fear nodes. 
I want to have a guard tower that's specifically made for fear nodes. So I'm going to build this guard tower here. We are going to remove it because it's kind of overlapping with the others. Remove everything. going to max it out to fear nodes to be, to be 10. Because that should be enough to get rid of that wolf's den. Cool. So no copper in range. Uh, this should be... Yeah, really, there's no copper in range here. That's fine. So we can disband, disband this. So we have some miners that's uh, free and ready for us to go and make use of them at a different mining facility. So enemy camp spotted. Oh, there's more thieves up here. Right. Not really, really what I want. But it's okay, we, we'll, we're slowly but surely building up our our army. And we are gaining some more military strength as we speak. Okay, let's just increase this again to quite a bit. I don't, I don't have bronze swords or wooden shields, so I can't really make the soldiers. But they also have a combat strength of 3. You know, it's higher. Panics when encountering spectres. So spectres are also an enemy type that we will definitely encounter. Um, so attacks all start enemies expands territory. Panics. Okay, so all of them panics. I think it's only these guys against thieves. Okay, removes the disguise of spotted thieves. Okay. So the Spectres are just additional ones that we need to fight, but we need ranges for them. And yeah, and the funeral. So ranges are quite cheap. I just think we don't have torches yet, but I don't want to focus on torches just yet. Because we definitely, definitely do need... Okay, this hunting lodge is also done. We definitely do need to get rid of this camp here and start expanding our set settlement here. Maybe build some wood production facilities here because that is something that we are lacking a little bit um i actually do think i can build another treasury somewhere because i think i only have one um yeah that treasury is going to be hidden so yeah let's build another treasury here so reason being is, is i'm trying to just Make sure that the the amount of bonus combat power that we have is up to a high standard. Yeah, we do not have a crop farm yet because there isn't any location that I can really. And the yield is quite low. This is for flak. Yeah, it's mainly just flak. There's no real crop farm that will be that beneficial. Maybe some corn up here but I see like there is some place for corn but we need to get relations up to with our neighbors and um yeah let's just see where so this is for with the purple the purple faction okay no that's fine we, we do not have a lot of we have to okay, we have 25 trade carriers here but I think we are actually let's prioritize our trading because trading is definitely something that I want because you get a massive, massive bonus when you actually claim or get this this little area. Here. Because I mean, all the buildings are already built. You just hook yours up, you get all of the resources, etc. So it's massively, massively beneficial. Alright. So they okay, they are bringing stones to you. These guys are not claiming. I actually really want them to claim this little area here. I shouldn't actually prevent them to claim. I just need to allow them to claim the right places. Because you don't want to bog yourself down to such an extent that you can't really expand or do much. So we're going to claim this little area there. And then, yeah, it's not too bad. I think that's okay. Let's just get this piece of stone in and then uh, 
then I think we can stop the claiming process again until we actually get the fear nodes up and running. Okay, we have that stone in place. We're gonna stop the claiming. There we go. So these guys should have a full okay or not yet. But we are gonna claim the The limestone, yeah, because the limestone is really, it feels like because of the difficulty, limestone feels like a very rare resource and something that's really not easy to, to get, which in a way is a good thing. So yeah, let's go claim over here because I want this area definitely. You are not really at a risk of uh, causing issues as I play along. So they almost have enough border stones. But honestly, I'll definitely need more traders. So I'm going to train a few more. Um, we do need the traders for amount of trading that we're going to do with the different factions. And if we really want to be on the good side, it's definitely something that we'll need to consider. Maybe look at building another trading post. Like such. And then a trader's camp is alive. Um, yeah, that's fine. Make this uh, like a little trading central for now. Cool, so we have silver swords. Okay, you are waiting for commands. I know, I know. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's add about five more diggers. Oh, ten. Let's add ten of each of these workers. Because they will definitely be needed. And another five carriers. Because we, I think we still have quite a lot of um, carriers that we can leverage. So we should be quite fine with them. And massive, massive expansion that we can do here. I'm just not too sure exactly what I want to build. It depends on what the resources are. That it's just flak. I do, however, I do think I do need a flak, a flak um, camp. So for over here, I think we can build our quarry. I think I'm gonna add two, just to get the resources as quickly as possible. So I can't really build a road just yet. So I need to allow them to carry on as is for a little bit longer. Trouble point should be here, please. We really, really need to get rid of these, <clears throat> these bandits. But we will eventually. I don't think we can reach them though, no. But that is all fine. <clears throat> we'll just expand to that location as required. So stealing a bunch of stuff and I really hope they still keep it there and they don't just take it away and it's unrecoverable. I don't think so because I mean there is some resources lying around here and they haven't stolen that much as of yet so yeah I'm really really not too worried about that. So the traders camp is getting built. Up that to 20 more soldiers or guards, rather. And our wood workshop. Yeah, I think I need to build like workshops and toolsmiths and stuff. And things to actually smelt the iron because I, th I think I only have these two, but they are waiting on material, which is coal, which is a bit of a. I do have a coal hut here. I don't do I do indeed. Yeah, but everything will eventually balance itself out. Cool. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit just so that we can claim this area over here. This is going to be one of the 
main parts of my city's operation. So I think for now what I can do, I'm going to build it all along the coastline. We can hook it up there. And then from a production standpoint, I'm going to build this, this line up here. And then two wood workshops. I think a toolsmith is probably the more important one. should be able to build there soon so we get that claiming done a weaponsmith yeah let's see. should be able to build another weaponsmith i don't think the weaponsmith is too big of a deal um yeah but you know what yeah we can build another weaponsmith I think the planning of this area wasn't the best, but that's fine. Let's build some homes for people to live. And let's see if I can actually build a, uh, a tavern. Because I need, uh, I will definitely need a tavern soon. Yeah, we can build a tavern. And we then need a well. The well is very important. And then we also need to build a market fountain. And we're going to build some markets here. So the tavern will make use of these markets. And we can build some... Yeah, let's build some chairs over here. We will connect it up. Like such. There we go. Now we've built like a small little production area. I do however believe that we might need to have an additional smelter or two. Let's see. Uh, can we... There we go. Having enough smelters will be really important, and it's close to this little mining area that we have, so I'm going to have a lot of action happening. I think the quarry is probably prioritized. They are bringing wood to these areas, so that's all good. And everybody is waiting for the weapons, so... I think for the wood workshops, I'm probably going to try and prioritize them. And yeah, I really, I really want the one to focus solely on, on spears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them both produce 20 spears. Disguised thief stole something. Do I have rangers here? I need to train more rangers, but I think I don't have the... We don't have the torches yet. Oh, so this thing isn't producing anymore. Let's produce some 10 torches and then 30 more spears. I think that's the only way that we're actually going to be able to get rid of those bandits there. Alright. So they are expanding up towards that area from this point. So actually want to set the claiming area here because the bandits are gonna keep coming in from from here for this end but that's fine cool from a trading perspective okay so we need to deliver iron lances for for coal or we need to deliver silver just for some renown. Oh, there's magic torches. Those things are massively important um, for the rangers. But let's, let's start with this one. Because um, I think delivering 20 silver for gaining some influence, it's a lot more important. And 
we do have 45 silver, so I don't think there's a, a shortage of that in any way. Seems like the mint is also waiting for some coal. So I really wonder... I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's really gonna be that useful, as useful as I think. So I'm gonna speed it up while we start building up this little area here. And uh, soon it will be a thriving little civilization area here that we can do some production and create some weapons and needed resources that we require for our little area to become very successful. So the limestone is definitely going to be the first one that we get here. Sheesh, where are they being attacked? Oh, they actually... Yeah, I'm going to put the patrol point like over here. Because they are... They infiltrated my... My small little city. So, they probably stole some coins and stuff, because I think the combat power lowered, which is not, not great. I might actually build a military academy here as well. Oh, not the military academy, the larger garrisons. But I feel like that might be a little bit overkill for what we require. The next one, won't you? Cool. So, um, it seems like most of these buildings are being built. There's no staff present because we are missing some tools. We need hammers and saws. There's a a tool workshop, that's a tailor shop, that's a wood workshop. Weaponsmiths, I do have a tool workshop somewhere. I just need to go and find it. I think here we go. So we need saws, so we're gonna increase saws, we need hammers. Okay, so they do require coal as well, which is the one thing that I do not have at this time, or I have very little of. There's a large chunk of coal. Ah, oh, they're gonna cause me massive issues here. Let's just build coal. That's 80 coal. That's, that's quite a decent amount. Oh, I'm getting my first fear naught. Nice. I don't need to get rid of these bandits. The fear notes are quite powerful. So as soon as we have enough of them, we can take on the wolves. Right, so we'll start expanding into a little bit more uncharted territories. Let's just uh, speed it up a bit while these different buildings are being built so that we can produce the needed equipment, some tools that we need, even though we don't really have enough, a lot of coal. So, yeah, so the saw and the hammers are definitely it's just the overall tool production, which is taking a bit of a hit. But I think limestone is sorted. that we have enough cement. I don't really think we all need to worry about that. Did I even place down two workshops over here? I don't think I did. 
This weapon smiths. That's about it. Yeah, that's not great. I think then this is the only... I think I only have the one tool workshop. Then. No, I have two of them. Where is the other one? Why can't I find... Oh, here it is. Here it is, okay. So it's saws and hammers. Those are the two things that we need. So the tavern, at least the tavern, is quite easy to build. Like the building materials is there, but the crafting isn't there. And that's kind of what we need. So we are getting some smithies. And you have one of them. But they will get trained quite quickly. And we do have all of the carriers and stuff bringing everything together for us. And a disguised thief still stealing stuff. Okay, so I have... I have three fear nodes already. So I think... Yeah, we are creating silver blades and I think the armor is something that we do have. The silver blades obviously the ones that are lacking a little bit. All right, so let's just continue the expansion. Get this whole area expanded for us. I think I'm gonna build the road right down the middle for now. Then we'll see what we need to produce, but I do think a toolsmith is probably one of them. Something to get coal from. Because <laughs> coal is one of the things that they really have the least amount of. So they're just waiting for polished stone in order to get the tavern up and running. The smelting works are also waiting for cut stone. Right now, that's all all good. Let's uh, build our little little path through here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, st still no real useful resources being provided here. Mainly just pumpkins and stuff, <clears throat> which at this point we don't really need too much of. Alright, uh, let's set the claim point to there. And uh, slowly but surely we will... Like, I mean, they get the 0 point to increase in their strength, which is not too bad. Oh, I have an, I can remove this. We have a few people that we can set free. There's some 40 coal. There's, there's 80 coal here. Okay, I really realized that quite late. And it's not like I have an abundance of coal to start off with. So the mining facilities will be taken down after... These guys are not part of this... Tower the part of this one. So I'm gonna let them patrol here. Yeah, so, so it's like the little bottleneck that we can get rid of the bandits. So if if they decide to come through, we are able to to handle them accordingly. They probably can't really explore into this area because of the bandits. This area seems quite reasonably safe. And uh, I think we do have the iron hut that's done. We just don't have enough to process them just yet. And let's just have this construction of this coal hut be completed. 
then we should have the staff to start mining the coal. Because, yeah, unfortunately the coal seems like it's a very rare resource on the more difficult playthroughs, but still something that is in abundance that we need to use, or more required by a lot of different parts and pieces. So, I guess as soon as the coal is set, it's going to get used, because literally everything needs it. And the thieves are really taking advantage of... Something has been stolen. No, they are stealing my treasure. What? Please, please don't steal my treasure. I really need it. I guess the one thing that gives me some level of uh, of strength. Okay, so there's no staff. There's no staff. I know. I know. So these guys should build some spears. Okay, I already set them to build the spears. What thief was that? Elite bandit. Damn, okay. Did my people stop training? They did. That really, really, really isn't good. Now I don't have the buffer anymore, and they're gonna steal a bunch of stuff. At least there's still pumpkins and stuff, so it's, it's it's okay. It's not not too bad. Okay, there's massive amounts of coal over here. Yeah, I definitely need to leverage this as much as possible. So what do we need? We need hammers and saws still. I'm going to focus on that, and then these guys should increase my population. So I'm going to get 3.6 new people per minute, but they do require more comfort meals, etc. to produce. So, yeah, we can just fight these guys, and then uh, we're getting more of the... But I think that elite bandit is going to... Oh, it's, he's dead. Okay. That's fantastic news. Right, though. So I think regarding this, we sh should still be quite safe. Fear notes are still struggling a little bit, but that's because of the silver blades and all of that. So we have enough huts for everybody, cottages. Stone Mason, I definitely do think we can build another stone mason. Let's see, can we find a space for them? Yeah, we can build them here. Let's build two more stone masons. And an armor smith. An armor smith, yeah, we definitely need an armor smith for the stronger the stronger units and um wood cutting huts sorry i'm just looking at the the guide that that we have there at the top i suggest i need to build another wood cutting hut but i have a lot of wood so i don't really think that's required Cool, fear notes, we just need to get up our comp power just a little bit more, because 9% it's small, but it's because of all of the stuff that they decided to take away from all of our hard-working citizens. I don't think we're still recruiting, we just have a lack of spears. And who said you can stop producing spears? Mm 
right -o. Seems like we are getting some staff, and these things will produce the needed spears and the weaponsmiths. Let's let them build some iron swords, because that's definitely not going to be the the last um, the last uh, wolves that we are going to have to face. Like, as long as these bandits just comes in here and trickles himself, that's all that we care about. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I really, really do appreciate it. And if you do enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.